Texas junior Yuya Ito began playing tennis at four years old in his hometown of Yokohama, Japan. However, it was a 4,851 mile trip to Adelaide, Australia in 2006 that would have a lasting impact on his tennis career. My father, he's a professor at a university in Japan and he has a research job and we went there for a little bit after a couple of years of being back in Japan parents decided to move me to Australia. They knew the quality of the tennis coaches in Adelaide was just fantastic. Ito made that move at 14 and began high school at St. Peter's College, a prestigious private school in the central region of Adelaide. There, he met coach Luke Smith, a two-time NCAA tennis champion and UNLV Hall of Famer. At the beginning, I sometimes felt like I just wanted to go back to Japan and just live a uh, regular life like other people, other friends. It was not easy, of course, um, all the cultural differences and I didn't know anyone over there. My father was actually in Japan working and I moved to Australia with my mom. Having dad far away and having Luke as my mentor, as my coach was just incredible to me. Thanks to Smith's guidance, Ito began playing in junior tournaments from Europe to Asia. It wasn't long before the eyes of Texas fell upon him. On one of the biggest stages in tennis, the Junior U.S. Open. I was a strong player on the ITF junior circuit. I went to New York, uh, watched him play. Uh, we brought him in on a visit, and we were left fortunate enough that he committed to come to Texas. Guys like you, you're not easy to find. He's, uh, he's one of the best players in college tennis. Coach Center was just a great guy to talk to. He just sounded like he cared about the players. He was just trying so hard to take care of them. From Japan to Australia and then the U.S., you know, there's a lot, a lot of different stuff going on. And it was tough for me at the beginning again, but all the teammates and staff members were just so welcoming. and just made me so comfortable being here. Comfort quickly turned into confidence. <laughs> Ito's performance in the 2018 Big 12 Championship earned him the Most Outstanding Performer Award. His sophomore season not only grabbed attention in the States, but also back in Japan, as he was selected to represent his home country in the 2018 Asian Games. I was practicing with the team and then I checked my phone after practice. I got a message from the national coach over there saying that I've been selected to represent my own country. I always dreamed to represent Japan and play for Japan and that was just an amazing moment for me to see that text message. It was just incredible how there's so many people on the stands and to see the Japanese flag. It was just incredible to walk around a stadium like we did. I don't think a lot of people did expect us to do well because we were unseated. We had tough competition throughout the tournament from the first round. And being able to get through that I mean, a few rounds before losing to the Kazakhstan team, to be on the stage with other athletes. I've seen that on the TV since I was a little kid at the Olympic Games and I couldn't believe that I was on that stage. Less than a month later, Ito returned to the States and added another accolade to his young career, winning the Oracle ITA Masters Mixed Doubles Championship. As the 2019 spring campaign kicks off, this 22-year-old hopes to pick up right where 2018 ended. Our first goal is to defend the Big 12 championship title. My biggest goal for myself this year is to become an All-American in singles. We didn't do too well in the NCAAs last year. We lost in the Sweet 16. Um, we got to the Elite Eight our freshman year, so I hope to do better than the Elite Eight and hopefully get to the final and win the NCAA title. That's our ultimate goal.